Hey everybody, welcome to Banter City and today we will talk about Charlie Munger. Charlie Munger, who doesn't know him in the investing world? I think he's 99 right now and uh, he has spoken a lot about human biases and how you can get a lot of upside in your life by simply not being stupid, by avoiding or by discarding stupidities and even if you're a mediocre player, even if you're playing amateur tennis, you can go a long way. That basically was Charlie Munger's philosophy. So some of these ideas that I'm going to talk about for the next five or ten minutes is going to come from uh, is something that I read from William Green's book richer, wiser and happier. So Charlie's all about uh, since he's an investor he stays clear of deeply cyclical highly leveraged and faddish businesses. And that's that may be one of the major reasons why he is anti crypto. Obviously crypto is a technological thing, but still it was the fad of probably the decade. And boy, oh boy, it's still on. And uh, he's also said that you need to know, you need to know your ignorance and stay away from it. So you have to know what you don't know. And he suggests sticking to your core principles to get rid of or to get past your biases and uh, there are some biases like doubt avoidance in inconsistency avoidance or pain avoidance and there is also psychological denial and pain, pain avoidance is something that we're really good at it, it, it can also be called loss aversion Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky had framed that theory, which basically says if you gain something, it's like you get one. Po it's like you get one points, but if you lose something, you lose double. You lose two points. So loss always hurts more than gain more than you know gain makes you happy so to to be able to see losses and gains as they are in number format when it comes to human emotions that's very difficult and that is something that you need to practice for yourself to not get down whenever hit especially uh in the if you're an investor because you know, the game is volatile and you need to stay like a stoic. And the most important uh, piece of Charlie Munger's contribution is guiding Warren Buffett uh, to buy wonderful businesses at fair prices. Warren Buffett, his friend and partner, was influenced by Benjamin Graham, the father of value investing, and he used to buy businesses which are cheap and then he used to sell them the moment they would get to a good place, the mostly when they turn around. This is also called cigar butt investing. But after he met Charlie, things change. So initially he used to buy Fair, fair businesses at wonderful prices. Now he buys great businesses at fair prices. And now he just holds on to this, those wonderful businesses and compounds. And he also says that whenever you're taking a decision buying something, it's always good to consider a devil's advocate 
point of view as well or when it comes to investing a bull case and a bear case because otherwise there are things that you would miss and that can hit you down the line and it's also important to do a pre-mortem that is what if this goes wrong and how can it go wrong so imagine you're going to take a decision to start a business now imagine that business has failed so what could have caused it to fail so that way you can avoid that particular weakness or particular direction that can take your business down you can avoid those decisions proactively and make sure that your business does not fail and there's also the problem of authority bias it's always important to do your own homework whenever you're making your decision do your independent review and then only decide because authorities are not always going to be there to guide you they might guide you with one decision but what about the next it's always important to have your own conviction before you take any decision borrowed conviction is not sustainable and is going to leave you high and dry and then he talks about uh, steps using which you can improve your brain function uh, obviously meditation is at the top of the list getting proper sleep exercise and nutrition is good so that was charlie munger for you i know i did not do justice in this short video but hey even if there's one thing that you picked up from this and if you implement it the results are going to be phenomenal so make sure you try to improve yourself and i too will i promise you and until next time signing off is bander city and you my friend please subscribe and be with me through this journey thank you